we were hired to monitor the construction work, so we watched the excavators as they did their work, and then as we were doing our work, we found an intact soil layer that contained archaeological materials. This is the area with the undisturbed soil. This is the area where we ended up excavating. Although, in the beginning, our work covered all of the construction area, and so we watched all through this area as the, the construction folks did their excavation for the roadbed and to prepare for the roundabout. The oldest projectile point that we found, it was the tip of a throwing spear, and we know from the style, the shape, um, that it, it was, it dates to around 7,500 BC in calendar years, give or take a couple hundred years. Uh, it's certainly the oldest ar archaeologically found artifact that's been found in the city of Windsor. We have found pieces of indigenous made ceramics, so pottery. Their oldest is probably maybe around 500 AD. Uh, we've got some other examples, kind of 800 AD, and then the youngest one that we found, again, the shapes change, the styles change, around 1200 AD. We can tell from the, the materials, the kinds of stone that Indigenous people had used to make their tools. Uh, so we've got a lot, the most common is uh, it's chert or flint from just up on the shore of Lake Huron at Kettle Point. We have examples from Saginaw Bay area of Michigan. Uh, we also have examples from uh, Eastern Ohio. And so we can tell by the color, by the kind of the glassiness and comparing with other museum collections, other archaeological finds. Um, so we know that there is trade contact between the indigenous people who lived here and the folks in Ohio. What's that? That's almost a thousand kilometers away.